In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do sewn fringe. So that is adding bits of fringe in a contrasting color that's sewn onto your knitting after you've completed it. It's great for adding a bit of detail to something like a cuff, which is what I did on this version of my Ayatu sweater, which uses knit fringe. And I added sewn fringe on the cuffs as my sweater is knit top down. So to get the fringe going the right direction, I sewed it on. To do this, you're going to be using what is a modified version of a stitch used on fringe-like rugs in Estonia and Finland called Raya rugs. So we're gonna do this on a little swatch. So to work your sewn fringe, which I'm gonna to add to kind of right the bottom edge of my swatch here, you wanna make sure you have a nice tapestry needle, a fringe tool or stick or card. The width is going to be your desired fringe length and yarn. And I always like to use contrasting yarn so that your fringe pops. You wanna cut your yarn so it's about four times the length or at least four times the length of what your fringe will be. So if I was going to put fringe covering this whole length of my swatch, I would just want to measure out roughly four times that length. I do like to give myself a bit extra. If you run out of yarn, it's not the end of the world. You can always rejoin some more to finish your section. So I'm just gonna thread my yarn through my tapestry needle so I can get started. Now with the sewn fringe, it is work from left to right. So to start off, you want to locate the stitch, the furthest left-hand side of where you want your fringe to be. Now I'm just gonna do a couple of stitches on this swatch just to demonstrate. So I'm just gonna pick a stitch as kind of my starting point. So I'm gonna pick a stitch over here and I'm gonna work my fringe in the first row of stockinette just above my little ridge of garter stitch. So if this is going to be, let's say, this lovely stitch here is gonna be the first stitch of my fringe. So with my tapestry needle, I want to insert it behind both legs of the first stitch on the far left-hand side of where I want my fringe, going right to left. And I'm gonna pull yarn through and you're going to pull not all of the yarn obviously you want to leave yourself a tail your tail should be longer than your fringe i like to leave it a bit longer you can always give it a haircut at the end so once i've done that i'm going to actually thread my needle back through the exact same spot going right to left behind both legs of the stitch. So I'm gonna go back in the same spot. And what's really important here is, I'm just gonna move this up so you can see, is that I want my needle to be below or underneath the yarn that I've threaded through. So my yarn is in orange and you'll see my needle in gold is below. If I hang that to the front, you'll see what will happen, and I'm gonna pull my yarn through, just tuck your tail out of the way for that first stitch. I'm gonna pull it through, and what's gonna appear will look like a little pearl bump done in my fringe yarn. So that's anchoring it to my fabric my knit fabric. So now I'm going to grab my handy fringe tool as we're going to start adding loops for making our fringe. So play around with holding the stick in your left or right hand. It's a little awkward, but it is well worth making those nice even length loops. So I'm going to hold my stick, I prefer it in my left hand, and I'm going to hold it so it's lying flat against 
my knit fabric and I'm gonna pull my contrast color, which I'm working for my fringe to the front over my stick and then bring it underneath and up. So I'm gonna pull this up so you can see. So we've just worked this stitch, which has that little orange pearl bump. And now what I'm gonna do is insert my needle into the next stitch to the right of that pearl bump, orange pearl bump stitch, going behind both legs, right to left. And I'm gonna pull my needle through. And as I do that, it will tension the loop I've made on my handy fringe tool. Now I'm gonna pull my yarn back to the front over that fringe tool. And I'm going to make a little pearl bump again around that stitch. So I'm gonna go back through that stitch, inserting my needle right to left under both legs, but I wanna make sure I come underneath, move that underneath my strand of yarn. So I get that lovely pearl bump, insert it, and I'm gonna pull that yarn through. Just press down on my fringe tool so it's out of the way. And again, I have another nice little pearl bump. So we're now gonna get into a groove of just repeating certain steps. So what I'm gonna do is bring my yarn to the front over my fringe tool, wrap it around that. Again, that excess yarn is gonna get tightened in just a second as I go into the next stitch. So I'm gonna find my next stitch. So the stitch one to the right of the one I just worked insert my needle going right to left behind both legs of the stitch, pull that through, it's going to tighten the excess, that slack around my tool, make sure you have kept the loop you've made on your tool there. So now I have two loops on my fringe tool. So now I'm gonna go back in to that very same stitch I just went through to make a pearl bump. So I'm gonna go into the stitch behind both legs of the stitch, inserting my needle right to left. Make sure that my strand of yarn that I pulled through is sitting on top of where my needle is. I'm gonna pull that through. Pull that through. And if you're ever in doubt, if it looks right, what you should see is that little pearl bump. Now, when you're done or you've got a lot of stitches, you can slide them off your tool there. And what you'll have is these lovely fringe loops. And if I was finished here, let's say that was all I was gonna add of this particular color, I would just cut my yarn like so and I'd be all set. Obviously, I would trim your tails so that they match the same length to your loops. Um, you can also cut the loops, so if you didn't want kind of the loopy look, you just wanted straight strands, you can trim those as well so they sit flat, just cut through the center and you'll get little strands like so. Obviously they will lie down better once you have blocked it. But that is how you add some sewn fringe, um, a nice little addition to edging on your project.